Mbote. Salakia Mbote. Uh, away in UCMI. For all of you in the if it's, if summer, if it's morning, uh, to Sikameni. Uh, praises, Kemba Yangi 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 Salama. To Nama Vimpi. And I've got Tanzambi. I don't have my book with me. I'm sorry. I'm still on that phrase. Muna, Muna Tanzambi. Kimbo, hallelujah. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to respond to more comments, but this is a big one. Okay. Uh, this is huge. And this is going to continue to get bigger um, because we're, we're on another, we're, we're getting closer to the Most High's uh, next phase. The book, the page is turning. The page didn't turn the book. Uh, it's not. It's two different. There's two different books we're turning. Uh, one is the the scriptures of Tatanzambi, and the other one is their book that they coded a long time ago. The the Alice in Wonderland deception. We're gonna get into that, and also it's connected to Alistair Crowley and all these other things. Um, and also going back to the deception of the sorcerer. So I hope everybody's doing well. Matonda uh, Mamingi, for all of you that are doing Tatanzambi's work, the spirit and in truth, we give honor to you, all of that have been given us knowledge and wisdom that has been able to be used in this time. We honor you as well. Um, I have been really uh, searching this, the, the depths of the Most High with this understanding of what he's wanting people to comprehend in these days because um, there's a lot that's going to happen that hasn't even been revealed to anyone yet because nobody knows but him. Um, and we thank the most high for that because a lot of people are already out here uh, continuing to be false prophets, false deceivers. Um, people even calling me that, which is fine. I don't, you know, I never actually call myself a prophet. That's the problem. Um, that's the issue here. Um, what I was called as an embassy to do is to sound, I am like the sound in the trumpet of Gabriel, Gabriel. Um, people don't understand, you don't just sound a trumpet with the, with the actual instrument. You can sound a warning in a trumpet with a person's voice. Okay, as Maliki Makongo, because, because Christians, Muslims, and all the other people, Judaism, and all the other beliefs have a false interpretation of the Tanzami's word, is that sounding a trumpet can also be speaking, okay? Um, and that's kind of what we're doing here today. I'm sounding a big trumpet, okay? Because um, as I expected and I knew it was going to happen, uh, there are going to be some next things coming that's going to be big, okay? Because um, I'm going to talk about the Kraken, okay? The Kraken. The Kraken is the biggest deceiver you're going to ever discover. Okay, and the gods of Atlantis, you know, I talk about them. People want to say, oh, that place is not real. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. That was their whole purpose. Okay, they wanted you to make that, believe that. The next thing is um, the fact that Christians think that they are the pure religion. Okay, they're not even close. Okay, first of all, there was no such thing as Christianity. Um, when the, when the, when the Balangoki, the Abafundi and Masindisi was, was speaking. As, a, as even one Christian said, the word Christian is not actually written in the Bible until you get into the more modern uh, translations. Okay. That's the biggest deception of it all. Next thing is, uh, he never said to call anyone after his way, but his father's way. That's why he said, I came to do my father's business. Okay, and he said, anybody who does the same will also bear the uh, the crown and the kingdom. Through the mistranslations of scriptures, the word Christian was devised out of the need to destroy the temple of the Most High. Okay, the false Messiah deception. So this is why you get two people with the split of one story and another. And they, they're learning now that, they, you know, you got a lot of, that's why I said, don't, don't quit listening to Kemeticists and the deceivers talking about how the Bible steals from Egypt. No, the Egyptian gods are stealing from Hanukkah. 
the holy book that was in the times when the earth was being destroyed because Cain is going to always try to be the Messiah before and after he came. All right. So I'm going to show you that Christianity derived from the Kemetic, the Canaanite belief, uh, mixing with Nzula Congo Zambe. And this is where it's all going to break down as to the Kraken and how he has got his tentacles and, and different things. Okay. So now, um, actually, I need, to, I need to pull this up. I'm going to do my song. Again, I don't own the rights to it. Um, I'm going to show you how they're going to make you fool you with this because it's actually going to be uh, I need to I need to I need to pull up something else and as I'm doing this I just remember what I forgot Okay, one second, as I'm pulling this up. All right, because they're gonna even tie this together of how it's gonna all play out. But they, they, like I said, we're talking about the tears in the wheat. The harvest. I'm gonna take you to what I found. They coded something. Um, the Book of Ruth. They coded something with some people who just recently died that the people don't know it's all part of the deception. Um, like the guy was talking about when I told you the video, he had to become a Catholic priest to become a Satanist. And we're gonna get into this part that that's also something that happens with many pastors that they don't know in this world that are being deceived. So um, let me get my share going, pull this up. Like I said, people, there's a strong delusion that's been on people, and I'm going to show you how they've been under the strong delusion, that they've been made to believe stuff that isn't true, and that's why the awakening, as we are now knowing, I knew the most I was a part of what was going to happen anyway, and what's going to happen next. Because there's going to be two parallel events that's going to be going on, <clears throat> and it's all going to be according to what was indoctrinated in the people. Okay, so once again, I don't own the rights to this song. It's not for reification of any kind. And uh, it's only for the glorification of this uh, channel, with the of the zombie, and for no other reason. I don't know what the heck that was, but I'm gonna get out of that. <laughs> Curse of Canaan, the biggest lie ever. Because the Canaanites went to the, they, they got the Cinderella to go to the top. The Canaan, the Anand Sea, the dogs went to the top using Esau, Cain. Trump. That was a coding as well. I found out what the name Vance means. And it goes back to a vision that I had.
kept messing with this. I forgot I'm playing the song. <laughs> My apologies. Um, I was playing the song, but I forgot the video was on. I was pulling some stuff up. My apologies that I forgot. But I'm sure if you go back to my other videos, you'll see this the video there. Um, I wanted to address this scripture right here that's been twisted. I'm going to go back to it. Now, for those of us who know I'm going to give you something that this is why they keep lying to people between this, this, uh, okay, we got Simon Kimbangu, who was actually John the Baptist. Then we got Toko. Okay, we're going to get into that. And we're going to talk about how they were actually in Basi. Okay, even they talked that way. Both of them were in Bossy. And then, of course, we got Potty, who was also in Bossy. And a lot of people don't understand is that Kuswa Kongo Fumayusu was in Bossy, but he was also an embassy that was used to rectify what happened with. Um, see, even the people understand is that the first man, Adamu Yakongo, was in Bossy. He was marked every, every, Every angel that the Most High creates is Mbasi, meaning messenger. Okay, now in the case of Adama, he was Mbasi and in Ganganvala or in Ganganzambi, which means he was both judge and ruler and also messenger. Now, people don't understand is that's technically what Shaitani, the first angel that was created, that's what he was supposed to be, Mbasi. And all the rest of them that went with him, Mbasi. Okay, meaning that you are the most highest messengers and you are also supposed to administer and take care because when the most high created the heavens and the earth, he did it with the himself through the embassy and everybody that was the creation, everything was put in its place. Now, does it mean everything? The most high's creation had its free will, even the free will had the creation, it wasn't people don't understand that. He put things in order, but then they also had free will. Everything had free will. Because the way he, the Most High structured it is it's about how you are supposed to follow versus how you just choose your own way. That's why he created certain things ahead of time. You don't even know some of those prisons were already being built for the people that don't even know. He, he knew things were coming ahead of time for those that were being uh, deceptive. And you're gonna say, well, why did he let this happen? Because that's the whole concept. Free will means there is your choice to do good or evil. It is all your choice, okay? And then the ones who chose to do evil, you are the ones that have to endure the punishment that goes along with that, okay? Now, when we go to the, this is the reason why they all see, because nobody, none of the people who teach the Bible know the real meaning of this scripture because they're not, they were never supposed to know it, but they told them, make it up as you go. A lot of them people don't understand. They have made some stuff as they go. Okay. Because sadly, this was going on even in the days of the teachings of the Mesendacy is that 
there were already false prophets. There were already false teachers, false knowledge. The, crest, the problem is what they did to you is they made it look like it's just happening now or in the re last several hundred years. No. The false prophets have been manifesting since long ago. Okay? And the, and the misconception is, oh, this false prophecy ended with the protest. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Okay? The Protestant church has many false prophets in it. And I mean many of them are false prophets. Okay? It got even worse after what happened with the 1700s and the 1800s because Christianity in itself is a false prophet. And we'll get into that. Okay? Islam has false prophets. Judaism has false prophets. There are many false prophets. Okay? And that's the, that's the deception is that you're going to a church to learn, but that person in most cases is already a false prophet because no one is getting fed milk under the Jesuits, I meat mean, under the Jesuit order, nobody. They check that, okay? Nobody is getting fed meat since when Rome claimed that they had the, the seat of authority in the Most High Church unless they allow it. And even when they feed you that meat, it's, to, it's also to discern, it's also to show you that they gave you a deception, okay? So anybody who says, I'm a Christian and I'm eating meat, check it. you got to check that. Anybody who's saying they're a Muslim and they say we're eating meat, you got to check that. Nobody does that. Nobody ever did, okay? Because the bottom line is, if they're eating meat, <laughs> yeah, you'd have an interesting time at school. I'll tell you that right now. The next part is, you would have a, an interesting time operating in the system that you currently agree, uh, live in. Because the intent is, it's not what you know, it's what we tell you, was the whole concept of the wealthy elites and the people who really were running the church. And then, of course, from there, the fallen ones take it with their lying signs and wonders to be able to play both sides. And they do this all the time. They did it. They've done it since the beginning. They know how to play both sides. So the realization is, oh, I'm, as a Christian, I'm eating from the tree of life. Who said that? How do you know? Who told you that? How do you know you're eating from the tree of life? Because for one, there's no one named Jesus that was from the tree of life. Now, they would say, oh, well, I found out his name is Yeshua. Okay, we didn't call him Yeshua. They did. Yeshua, Yeshua, from Yeshua, the, the Edomites called him Yeshua. That wasn't his name to us. Mesendesi, you know, um, Yepo, uh, Ye, yeah, he had his father's name. He had his father's name. Okay, and then on top of that, they don't teach you in any Christianity the name of the Spirit. No. Oh, it's the Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit has a name. When they say in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, what are these names? Okay, that's the concept that keeps the people from not understanding you're under a delusion. They all fall under one kingdom's name. Tatan Zambi, he showed us this process, and that's why he said, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. When you reject knowledge, I should reject thee. That's why now the heathen or the Gentiles or the pagan or anybody who thinks they know the truth doesn't understand the concept. The kingdom itself has a name. His kingdom has a name. Okay? And his people who fell under that name, all happened with Yakubi is he's saying your name is I love you in the language. Esau, I hate you, okay? If you tell somebody I hate you in Kikongo, I hate in the language. Mono, 
Kimen Kemenjaka, yo, I hate you, okay? Or you are my enemy. Umbeni, okay? This is why you're gonna just, I just and it's funny, I, I just happened to see that, and this is where I learned, even as I'm going, I love this when the when the modern Spain said put enemy in there. This is what you're gonna keep hearing in movies. It's your uncle Benny. Benny. Time to pay the check. Benny means enemy. Benny. Okay. So when Tatan Zombie says, my enemies, okay. So they coded this stuff right in front of you. Bombini. So then you're going to get the word. Well, this is where you get Bambino. Bambino, <laughs> in Italian, Bambini, Bambino, means enemy. Now, if you say the Italian, said, no, my little Bambino, my little Bambino is my child. No, the most I'm saying to you it is, when I say Bambini, Bambini or Bambino, These are my enemies, okay? Keti mono lombakande, bogulusa mono na maboko yambeni, yambeni, okay? So now, um, the scriptures is Esau is in Beni, the enemy of the Most High, all right? So it says now, when we go to Revelation 12 and 9, the great dragon who was thrown out, the ancient serpent, all those known as the devil and shaitani, the adversary, the deceiver of the whole world who was hurled down to earth and his malakis with him, hurled down with him. Okay. Now have now have come to Tanzami's victory and power and kinship and the authority of Messiah causing the accuser of her brothers. He accused them day and night before Tanzami has been thrown out. So what they're showing you is the accuser is accusing the kingdom of the Most High, not in up there, but on earth. See, Michaeli, see said Michaeli, and his malekis fought against the dragon. Who are those angels fighting against the dragon? Okay, I already gave you the code is that there's Maleki Congo versus Maleki Alma. Alma, check your battery. Yeah, because you're hard of hearing, Cain. Let the people go. But the concept is anyone who goes the way of the fallen ones is going to be the house of El. That's why we say it's Makaya. Makaya and Zambi. Mikaeli, you can put Eli on this, fine. But it's the house of Yakongo versus the house of El, Lucifer. Now, why people don't know this is because you are in this whole thing that he says, how did he deceive the whole world? Okay. He deceived the whole world is going to be right here in 2 Corinthians. Let me go to it. This is why they took these other scriptures out. Now, we know this is in our language. Yes, they did a lot of deception and how they changed things. But they also left stuff in there so you can understand that you are already under this. Long time ago, Christians included. And I would be, now of course, they scratched out the name in zombie and put God in there. They also put whatever. It's like I said, the English, the English people are so deceived. No other people in the world says God but the English people. The Spanish don't say it, uh, the French don't say it, the Latins don't say it. They use it when they talk to you in English. But when the, when the Vatican put the words in there, there was no God in there. That came from the Germans. They know because they're the ones that change stuff. Just like the Germans changed the Quran. <laughs> As I discovered that. Okay. People are going to see that. And they also wrote the Torah. Okay. 
the Germanic people tribe. It wasn't just one little country over there called Germany people. They used to have a huge, huge territory. Rome, no. They fought them for years. Would be that Tatanzambi, you bear with me a little of my folly, and you bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband. Okay. Espousing you to one husband goes all the way back to the beginning. The fall was where, first of all, when, when the witch that they took out of the Bible, that's why you in bibbity bobbity she's not in the Bible no more. Oh, yeah, this is the word of God. No, I mean, they put this, the, the whole Bible was written by Baal. But they said, oh, no, that's the word. Yeah, the word of God is the word of Baal. That's why he put his name in there. Okay. He took the Tatanzambi scrolls in Kanda. And Kanda just means book. Yanzambi. And turn it into the Biblios, which is the word that was given to the kingdom of the kingdom of Tyre. That was actually called the Vulgate or the Canon, which was then given the name Biblios. By the, because, see, Latin people don't say Bible. They say Biblio. Bible is a word that became out of the Biblios. But Biblios was actually a city that the Canaanites lived in. And the, um, the, well, the Hittites, uh, the Phoenicians. Okay? That's why the word Canaan comes from Canaan. Canaan. Okay? Canaan wrote the Canaan, who wrote the Biblios who put Tatanzambi in there, but not the full truth. And then, of course, like this one guy was saying, I was watching the video, he said, 90% of the Old Testament is missing. Okay, that's a lot of books. And he said, 50% of the New Testament is missing. I listened to this guy talking about, I was like, yeah, they stripped it clean. They stripped it to bare bones because they didn't want you to know how to manifest the power because they knew Banabeto of Isolele were given the means to actually do certain things. Like they, all, all Christians keep saying, oh, we just pray. No, that's a lie. This is the deception. You don't just pray. You got to actually do something when it comes to how you actually heal people and cast out demons and do these different things. This is the part that's missing. There's something that has to be done. Now, they left a little bit of coding in there, and they said, I asked the lady, I said, why did he use the mud to heal the person's eyes? I don't know. No, that was what was called for at that time to fix the problem. Does it mean that that was the way it was done for everybody's ailment? No. There were other things that needed to be done when it came to how people needed to be healed. The instructions come from the Manda. Okay, this person has palsy. This person has this. Boom, boom. And so you fix it. Bam. Okay? Oh, no, we just keep praying. No, that's the part. That's where the Jesuits and all these other deceiving people convinced you when they actually know what to do with other people. And as I said, that's why he said, do not give what's righteous unholy and the dogs and pigs. Well, I'm telling you, when Lucifer taught the people how to heal, which he did do that, they didn't just pray. It's a lie. But he's going to tell you to do that. Lucifer taught them how to heal. But it was done through a divination. That's why they put the book of Hanukkah out there. Lucifer understood how to use herbs, and he showed them, but he was doing it through what? A price. No, you don't just, I don't just teach you that, okay? You've got to owe me something, okay? You're going to charge you for that. I need something from you. But at the same time, it's not really going to heal that completely because you cannot remove the demon that actually causes the problem. 
That's why they don't tell you the truth about sicknesses. Okay? Sicknesses are caused through interaction with negative energy, demonic realm. The people, that's why the whole concept of the medical construct, as you will soon find out, is predicated on the Bible. They are they use the Bible. But you know, you're not gonna find out how. Okay. Uh the scriptures, the Tula. Okay. For I fear lest by any means that the serpent beguiled Eva, I'm Ava, through her subtlety to your minds, but she didn't just it didn't eat, it didn't just beguile Eva, beguile Lily too. This is the deception. The first woman wasn't Eve is really Lilith. Awa, who replaced her, was the jealousy. Why is she not in there? Because that's the concept. You can't completely do the job if you don't have all the knowledge. So it's like this. The father says, I need you to do my work in the vineyard. If you're on, if you say this 66 books in the westernized Christian, this is all I need to do the most high's work. Okay, let's take a look at it. That book existed from the 19, they brought it down to 66 book around the 17 and 1600s when they shaved it down. Let's go from the 1600s to now. Christianity has been doing the work supposedly with this book. Let's look at the track record. Did you cast out, did you get rid of the, the demonic realm? Did you reverse the negativity on this earth over that time frame? Did you actually fix the world with this book? Okay. Did you fix the world? Did you return everything back to its proper order over the over the span? Okay. Did you accomplish this? There is the track record. No. The world is worse than ever. So did you do your job? No. Because what they did is they took you as an individual in the body of Christ, not working as a cohesive unit like you're supposed to, where each Christian does it according to how they do their own family or groups or church. Okay. Sorry, I got some soreness going on. All right. So now, when you actually look at the track record of all of the denominations of Christianity, Eastern Orthodox, Catholic, Western, how if you're doing the Most High's work, if you're doing God's work, and you have the faith in his power, then how do the wealthy people control the world? How does that work? How are they able to manipulate the system and do the things that they're doing? Like I said, how in the world do you get to a place? Uh, let me close up some of these things. How do you get to a point where your prayers, your everything that you're doing, how does it get to the point where it's like this? Sorry, let me pull them up. Okay, here's the world debt cop. How is how are you seventy two trillion dollars in debt? Okay, with the interest accrued, in all countries around the world. And you're doing the most high's work. How is that possible? Where are you actually helping people 
receive their inheritance of the temple of David, which is never broke, by the way. <laughs> okay? The temple of David is never broke. So this is where I can tell you how you can deal with people who are doing witchcraft and sorcery and people who are doing deception and people who are not doing the most highest way. Okay. Or they find themselves be not being honest. Okay. The zombies never broke. The father's never broke. He has plenty of wealth. So then the question you have to ask yourself is, why am I broke? What's going on here? What's really going on? Why am I paying? Why am I in debt? Why do I have bills to pay? What's really going on? Why is my bank account sitting at zero? Okay. This is how it goes when you're trained not to pay attention and told what to think and not actually think for yourself that there's a hidden agenda behind the scenes. And the, the minute that what your condition is say is greed. Well, that's a problem. If you have the Father and the Holy Spirit is with you, and you have all the angels at your disposal, then the greedy people should not be able to have any conquer, cannot conquer you. That's what the scriptures say. But now what you fail to understand is the angels were specifically attached to a nation that was loved and a people who were loved. So the, the deception is with Cain is they're saying, oh, the Most High's angels also include us. Well, that can't be. Cain's kingdom is Lucifer. And this is where a lot of people have been made to believe the fact that they don't understand, they showed you in 2 Corinthians this concept. <clears throat> For he that cometh, and I'm going to switch it to what they actually say. Is this King James? Okay, let me get out of that. Let me go to the different, uh, where I can pull up different versions. Okay, let me go to CJB just so I can show you that they didn't always use these words. And I like to bear with me a little foolishness. Please bear with me, for I'm jealous for you with the Tanzanian's kind of jealousy. Because so what he's saying is the Most High is all about the nation that he created, that he said, these are my people. Okay? This is the first part of the deception and this big lie that people are falling for. It's always been about the people he loved first. Okay? Since I promise to present you as pure virgin in marriage to one husband, the Messiah. Okay? And fear that somehow your minds may be disused away from simple and pure devotion to the Messiah, just as Hava, see, that's how they said Ewa, Hava, Awa, see, that's Eve, Hava, Ava. Whoa, her name was Eve. No, her name was Ava. That's Mama Tata Ava, Mama Ava. Okay, Lily and Mama Ava are not the same. Was deceived by the serpent and craftiness, for it someone comes and tells you about some other Yeshua, Yeshua. They take the H out. Yeshua, golden young guy. We already knew how to say that. Yeshua. Scratch out the A. Yeshua. There was no W at the time because the W didn't exist. People keep saying Yahweh. Okay, there was no W. It didn't exist. Yahweh. And it was no you, actually. But, yes, it's, it's what it is. It's the combination of Yeshua. How we said it. Yeshua. Yeshua. 
it's the way that S and that A was, was running together. Then the one who told you about, if you receive a spirit different from the one you receive or accept the same so-called good news, different from the news you have already accepted, you bear with him well enough. Meaning that if you believe something that these disciples didn't preach back then, it ain't talking about now. See, they're making you think, oh, everything is for the here and now and us Christians today. That's a bunch of lies. He's talking about his time frame and all the others, their time frame, Saula. Okay? Then he said, if you're going to go with this preacher, and see, at that time, he already knew there was imposters because he used to work with the imposters. Okay? And he said, for I do not consider myself in any way inferior to these super emissaries. Of course not. I may not be a skilled speaker, but I do have the knowledge. Anyhow, we have made this clear that to do in every way, in every circumstance, or did I sin in humbling myself so that I would not be exalted and proclaiming that the is good news to you free of charge. Okay. I robbed other congregations by accepting support from them in order to serve you. And when I was with you and had needs, I did not burden anyone. Now remember, he was a thief and a robber working for the Sanhedrin. The bribery. He was being paid, just like the sorcerer was. Just like Judas, all the other, okay? The problem is you got a lot of people getting paid the 30 pieces of silver, even today, to lie to you about what took place over the last 2,000 years. And those who were meant to know the truth, they really tried to destroy them. To tell the truth means that you're going to be, they're going to try to kill you. Everybody was like that. They're going to try to bribe you to stop. They're going to try to ruin your life. They're going to do whatever it takes, but no one's going to know the truth. That has been going on for thousands of years because Shaitani understood you teach the truth, my kingdom is gone. Period. But he had a time to run. You know, it was always a countdown and you were already in it when you were born in here. You were in the countdown to the end of the age of Esau. That's why they don't tell you the end of the age is Esau. Because you are in the house of Esau. Everybody is in the house of Esau when the Most High turned the world over to the hands of the wicked. That's what he means. If I turn the world over to the hands of the wicked, that means you're in the house of Esau and all those affiliated with him. Not the house of Jacob. That's the deception. So now, what they didn't tell you, that the age, as he was talking about, is Esau's age, the evil twin, which goes back to all the other gods that he's affiliated with, that he worshiped as the Edomites, which are different names for each civilization. The Egyptians, they were called one thing. The Canaanites, they were called something else. The Chinese, they were called something else. Wherever they went, they were always called something different. Native Americans, same thing. But it's still that one sun god and that one moon goddess becomes your Holy Spirit and the Messiah. And that son of that sun god and that moon goddess becomes your Messiah, which all of it goes back to Atlantis. Big lies. Okay? The, the witch made Enlil, Enki, and Inanna the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, with Enlil really being Lucifer. And that process was passed down through the days of Noah, Noah and after until you get to where it became Nimrod, Tammuz, Ishtar. Okay? That was how it went. And, it, and all the spirits were with them. 
pretending to be the future uh, of what was promised by Tatanzami to Adamu about what was going to happen after he messed, made his mistake. Okay? Which turned him over to the kingdom of darkness and caused a divorce. So his, his return to the Most High was the repentance. Remember when they were kicked out of the garden, that means they were divorced. To bring them back required them to do a repentance. But while they were divorced, they started to have children already. <laughs> That's the problem. And then when they got back together, they had a child that was pure, but then he was killed. Well, two children, actually, the mother, son, and daughter. Because he was given the position as the Moni Congo that was rejected through the deception that Cain would not repent of some of the things he was even doing even before he killed Abele. You don't understand that. This man already had jealousy in his heart. It wasn't like it just started that way. Okay? So now, you had to already have jealousy in your heart to actually kill somebody. It wasn't just he got it automatically. It was already there. This is the deception, okay? <clears throat> so now he goes down to when he says, there is nothing surprising in that the, for the adversary himself masquerades as an angel of light. So you go back to Revelation 12 because I'm gonna talk about the two cups. When he said Babylon, and I meant to talk about this before, when he says that Babylon is a cup, but we're going to go to Jeremiah first. This is why gold is so affiliated with Babylon and the way that they do it and how they deceive the whole world. Okay. Now of course we don't you know, it don't matter what they say, but we're gonna do it like this. He says, they say Bavel was a golden cup in the hands of Tatanzambi. It made the whole earth drunk with nations drank of her wine. This is why the nations have lost their senses. Babel is suddenly falling. She is broken will for her. Okay. So anytime you drink of the cup of filth, you become connected to the tree of knowledge of good and evil, wickedness, pretending to be good. But at the same time, it's big. So you got this cup, you got the dirty water, you got the dirty wine, whatever you want to call it. You're filled to the brim with it. Okay, this is going to make you disconnected from the truth. Now, when we go to what Masinacy talked about, Isaiah from Yisu, just Jesus, okay, whatever, he said, Why do you clean the outside of the cup and not the inside? So now, the Most High has another cup in his hand. This cup is what gives you purification on the inside. So it's like this. Do you drink from the cup? And this goes by to what he did when he did his Last Supper. The symbology of it is my temple or the temple of Tatanzami, or the, or the synagogue of Lucifer, okay, the temple of Davidi had become what? Babylon. My, house, my father's house is a house of prayer. What have you done to it? You've turned it into a den of thieves. So now, 
anytime the most high's people were going astray and doing wickedness, they are drinking from the cup of filth that causes them to act in, 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 in anger and sin and allow themselves to be scattered for those who are also drinking from this same cup that makes the nations drunk, okay? This goes all the way back to Mesopotamia, the days of Noka, what, why these watchers and, and fallen angels were getting drunk. They were drinking of the wine of filth, the cup. And this is exactly what Atlantis has done to people. You're drinking the wine. That's why you don't need, that's why they made you to wear, oh, I, uh, Bibbidi Bobby Presto Changer, we don't exist. Okay, because you're drinking the wine of filth, you don't see the cracking that's deceiving the whole world. Okay, so now when you now take off the beer goggles and you actually start to sober up, it's like, wait a minute. Whose side am I on? This is what we mean when we say to be sober. Sober means is that I know I know the difference between the cup of filth and the cup of purity. The cup of purity, I'm going to see spiritually that this is how I need to operate my life, not just carnally. The cup of filth is going to make you think you're operating in the spirit. When you're drunk with the wine of the fornication, thinking that you're clean on the inside when you're filthy. And this is the concept where they took the pig god, the boar that killed Tammuz. Why do you think this story is not in the Bible when it was? It was there. The story of Tammuz getting killed by the boar was in the original scriptures. We already knew this. How many Christians actually know that? Oh, we don't. It's not there. Yeah, it is. Okay, they just, they don't put it in there. Okay. So then when you're looking at what's going on today, everything that's manifesting is because you don't have the full truth about what you worship. That's why you allow yourself to be deceived that the holidays and the feast days and the days of the week are in fact, there's nothing wrong with them when everything is wrong with them. Period. Everything is wrong with them. Oh no, the, 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 the God allowed, the, we changed it from the Passover to Easter. No, he didn't. But that harlot wine you're drinking gonna make you think that. Oh, he said he said the birth of Christ was now called Christmas. No, he didn't. But the, the drinking that harlot wine make you think that. Oh, even though Rome has it written down that they had it in the spring, oh, but now Christmas is in December. Okay, so I'm drinking it. Yes, because the concept is you're drinking from the wrong cup. So now you're going to have the beer goggle problem. So even when you go and get drunk in the physical, but you were already drunk in the spiritual. That's the problem. You were already deceived. Even before you open that Bible, you're looking at it from the, from the wrong cup. So then at that point, you can't see that you do more harm than good. All right? So in reality, the world now looks, no, the world just looked the way they're telling you, oh, but see, look what's going on with me. That's why you just go along with all the trends that people do. That's why you just keep going along and, and thinking that you're doing everything right. When in fact, you're doing the complete opposite. You're putting the world in debt, not taking them out of it. So you're going the wrong way. Okay. Then, who, what temple of David do you work for? What temple that Solomon built do you really work for? It doesn't matter how many, he built a lot of temples. I understand that. 
But the problem is, are you with the righteous one or the wicked one? How do you know that? Because it's all about if you're drinking from the cup of Lucifer, or you're drinking from the cup of the Benzambi, King Congo, hallelujah. That's why people don't know you know his name. Because they're drinking from the Babylonian cup. And then even those who claim not to be, are they themselves going to be deceived in the next phase? Or they're going to be exposed even more. Okay? When people talk about these pastors that keep dying and keep, okay, these, they say, oh, this is a man of God. Not if they're drinking from the cup of the uh, filth, okay? And, and, and that's where, as many people will soon discover, this is where you are going to discover your shortfalls. All right? So when we go now to Revelation... Okay, the woman was dressed in purple and scarlet and gold, precious stones, cup filled with obscene, filthy things produced by her whoring. On her forehead was written with the name, Babel the Great, Mother of Whores and Earth Obscenities. Of the Earth's Obscenities. Now, I recently discovered to something that I came across yesterday. I'll even show you the word earth and sky. I was like, well, man, because we were looking at some stuff here in the demonic realm that, let me say, now I was looking at this one entity. Okay, yeah, it was this, I think. It said that the name Earth, now here we go. In the Baru, it said, in the Euthymeristic kind of the Phoenician deities, and this is where you even get the word Sikkim from. This is why your intestines are all jacked up, because they know what they're doing. The Sikkim comes from the uh, Chekum. Okay? That's why you check somebody, and even the hockey, check them. Because the sky and the earth were named after them. It was named after the male called Epigius, Adithion, and the daughter called Earth. Okay? So, here's where you get the name Biblios. In his Eucharism, it says, also, it's also called the Most High. Now, which Most High? A female named Baruth, or Baruth, dwelt in the neighborhood of Biblios in the coast of Lebanon, they had two children, a male called uh, Epigius, Autocon, or Sky, and the daughter was called Earth. Because of this, the latter pairs of beauty, the sky and the earth, with respect to be named after them. So here you go. The word Earth and the word sky didn't even exist. Okay? Oh, this is a weird thing here. All right, and this is where people aren't recognizing you've been played. We said in Toto and Zulu, okay. So, with this regard, as we're looking at this, this is what comes down to what I was going to talk about why they even wrote this book, and it's actually symbolic of the fact that they knew in the 1860s what was coming. And it goes back to when it said the devil was waiting for the child. And now we know uh, Kimbangu talked about him and then Toko. So now I'm going to talk about what's coming, what's going to happen. Now, I'm looking at this scry mirror. I'm telling you, the most of the world is on the wrong side of this mirror. They just don't know that. Okay. We talk about the Baal captivities. 
okay? The Christian the Christianity is really a pagan religion masquerading as a non-pagan religion. Muslims doing the same thing, Judaism. All of these symbols that go back to ancient Egypt, Babylonian practices that were contrary to our way. But now, because you have so many people who are locked in to working, and it's funny because we're watching, I saw my wife this thing on TV where they were putting it and they make fun of it and they know that they work for bail, but they ain't going to tell you that on television. They do. They're, the most high to them is bail. And he's the one calling the children earth and sky. Okay? The most high didn't call it that. He got a different name. So now when you got the Babel, so now when you're drunk with the wine and the harlot, you're not going to see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? These are already in place. You don't even know. The one world religion has already been in, in effect. All right? Uh -huh. One second. I'll come to this in a minute. Sorry. Again, I don't own the rights to that song or any way of it. So now when you go, you have what's called a World Bank. What you don't know is the World Bank is running the world debt. Which means you are in debt to them. So who is the collateral for that? <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that part. Okay, we have this false queen. The queen of heaven is a, uh, the primary title was the queen of heaven given to her. Okay, goddess of love, war, and fertility. You see this going on even today. Okay. Uh, her husband is the god, the Muzid, later known as Tammuz. Okay. But it was also, that's why you have the lion, but then you also have uh, uh, okay, it's he's associated with the planet Venus and the most prominent symbol include the lion. That's why you got to be careful what lion you're talking to. Okay. And of course, Oh, yeah, I like to eat popsicles. <laughs> you think they just put these names in here? Conflated with the male deer, elaborate. And, oh, now come here, Tatan Zombie, pulling up, becoming popsicle. Quenda, similar, me. Don't like to say these names, you know, because it's all spiritual. It really is. They got you saying names. That's why you going, went to sleep. Now, the eight pointed star, which she stole from Tatan Zombie, okay, is why she was called Ishtar. Because she's not really a star, because she was created under a star. <laughs> Originally, Tatan Zombie, then she became an Lucifer star. Okay? So now, uh, when we go to the Book of the Bee, now watch this. This is the blessing of Nsaka. Yakubi was 77 years old. Now, that's a key right there. 77 is a big number in the esoteric. When his father in Saka, Blilaka, blessed him, and he stole the blessing and birthright from the brother Esau and fled from before his brother to Haran. 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 On the first night, now Haran, as we now have learned, is down in Kachopia, what we want to call Africa, Alcubalan, whatever. Not what they're telling you. On the first night, Yakubi saw a ladder reaching from earth to heaven with angels ascending and descending and the power of, a, of the zombie on top thereof. Why this is significant? Yakubi's ladder can only be seen when you operate in the truth. It's still there. It didn't go anywhere. Okay, so the other, the Yakob, as they want to say, the other side of this is going the opposite kingdom, as people will find out. 
The house of the Lord is calling Zoran Zombie. It's not Beth L. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Then go love and zombie, okay? The power upon the top thereof, he woke and said, and he took the stone that was under his head and set it up for the altar, and he vowed a vow to Tatan Zombie. Now the latter was a type of Christ crucifixion, which is not complete, is is Christo, yeah, Cusco Congo, but it's not the imposter who has deceived the whole world. Okay, you got to know the difference because Christ, Christ comes from the kingdom of Congo. You don't want to believe it? That's why they want to say that we were called blasphemy when we said that. The angels that were ascending and descending were a type of Maliki who announced the glad tidings to the shepherds on the day of our Savior's birth. Okay, now if they talking to him and you with the Most High and you know the truth, then why aren't these angels also talking to you, the real ones? The power and gold was upon the top of the ladder, which is a type of manifestation of the zombie in the word and pure flesh in the formation of Adama. Yeah. So what it is, is that when you become like Adama before the fall, then the kingdom is revealed to you. The place which the vision appeared with the type of the church or in zombie is what he said, church. The stone under his head, which was by the altar, was a type of altar. And the oil was poured out, was likely the holy oil with the anointing to the altar. So this is the whole thing. When you become like the Most High in spirit, you get oiled. You have an altar. The stone is a part of that. Okay? Whose stone? This is when it said, the stone this builders rejected. Kuswa Congo is the fulfillment of this stone, Ntadi. The, the tidy that no other imposter can now act like. Okay? And your Kubi went to Laba. It was not Laban, but I mean, this is going to be where they're going to hide this. And his mother brother served before a shepherd for 14 years. He took his daughter to wife, Leah, with her handmaid, Zilpa, and Raquel with her handmaid, Bila. Now, he loved Raquel more than Leah because she was younger than was fair in aspect while Leah had watery eyes. They were born to Yakubi by Leah's six sons, Luba, Reuben, which is interpret God is good. Great is good. Great is God. Okay? Now, <laughs> if you go to, okay, you put in the Congo, It also means to speak. In zombie killing nanny, okay. The, the, in, the we have many different ways to say things in Kikongo. Luba or Lube would have been affiliated with this name. Because we didn't sp speak with the R, we speak with the L. All right, and back to the book of the B. Then he had. Uh, let's see. Yokubi, 84 year, years old, at the same time, Simon, Simeon. Now, people have called the name of Simon or Simon Toko, Simeon, Simao. Okay. Richard, Sim, the guy Simmons, his name comes from this. Is it interpreted the obedient? So now, Simo or Simio means obedience, which is why we also say the name Simon Toko for the Messiah and for anyone like him, because he was in obedience to his father. Levi, this is the perfect. Yuda is the praise. Issachar is the hope. Lusaka, hope. Zebula, Zebula, the gift or the dwelling place. Two sons were born to him by Raquel, Yosefu, and in this edition, Benyamun. And the consolation by Zilpah, two sons were born to him. And Gada, that is luck, and Ase, the praise. 
Okay. Now, of course, in Kikongo, if you're going to say luck, this is what they interpret. That doesn't mean that's always true. Sanse, Kisi. Okay. Ngada also means Kisi. All right. Asa, Asi is okay. In the praise, Yimbila also, the two sons, Ndana, the judgment. Okay, so now you're going to see why this is important. Madonna, judgment. So when you look at what they call Danny Boy or the 13th tribe, here it comes where they were playing the role of the Sanhedrin and of the King Herod which is all connected to the spirit of Cain, which is when Mercedes-Benz came and said, you teach the children to break the father's law. Because another word for judgment is also in Zuzi Unganganvala. Okay? Naptali, that is Hartner, and one daughter who was named Dinah. Zina and Dinah, Rosita and Clementina. Okay, this is a song you know back in the day with uh, Sparrow. Dina, Okay, Dino, Dina, Dinar, the money, okay, was after 24 years, it could be returned to Nsaka and live 108 years. And after three years after Yakubi went up to his father, okay. Yosefi was sold by his brethren to the Midianites for 20 dinar. Dinner. Dinar. Dinner. Now you know where the word dinner comes from. Or diner. Where you eat the food. <laughs> okay? When the soccer died, Yakubi was 120, but I'm pretty sure the dinar comes from the name. Okay? Dinah. When you see the name Dinah, What does it mean? So her name also also means judge in Gangangvala. That the zombie will judge. Is what they're saying. All right. Well, that's what Ngangan Zombie means. Priest. Okay. Kohanim, as they say. So when Saka died, Yakubi was 124 years old. Seven. One, two, four, six, seven. He was 77. Oh, thank you. Because you got 777 coded in this. All right. Now, at some point, they're covering up when they killed Nimrod. And also when Yakubi went after his other people. They were part of that. So now when we go, and I'll be the apocalypse of Adama. Okay, it talks about the 400,000. Then others from the seed of Kama and Yafeta came, 400,000, and, and then to another land and stayed with these people who came from the great eternal knowledge. The shadow of their power protects those with them from everything evil and everything filthy desire. Then the seed of Kama and Yafeta formed 12 kingdoms. And their other seed enters the kingdom of the other people. They take counsel, eons that are dead, the great eons of incorruptibility, and they go to their god, Sakla. They go in the powers, accusing the great ones who are in their glory. They say to Sakla, what is the power of these people who stood in your presence, who are taken from the seed of Kama and Nafeta, who number 400,000? Okay. They were received in another realm for which they some overturn all the glory of your power 
The seed of Noah to his sons have done your will, and so have all the powers in the realm which they might rule. But those people who reside their glory have not done your will, but they have turned aside your whole throng. Okay, so we go back to what really happened here. The rain showers that the zombie almighty poured down that had destroyed the flesh using what was around them along the people with the seed of those who received the life of knowledge. The life of knowledge came from Mama Ava and me. They were strangers who afterward, great Maliki on high clouds who took these people in spirit lives. The whole multitude of flesh would be left behind in the waters, but also they, they left out Lily. She was involved, the she-devil. But the zombie will rest from his wrath and he cast his powers on the waters and gave power to his sons, their wives, by means of the ark. Uh, that's again. Sanduku. Okay. Okay, this is a book that they're not familiar with. They're going to say, oh, well, that's Gnostic. Yeah, they, this is not all fake, okay? They always do this so you don't find out that there's hidden secrets, okay? Um, Were ever pleased with the birds of heaven, they call and release upon earth the zombie when generations of due collation, look, I have protected you in the ark with your wife and your sons and their wives and animals and birds upon the earth, so I give earth to you I give the total to you, to you and your sons, in kingly fashion, you will rule over it, and your sons, you will have no seed from the people who do not stand in my presence and another glory. So there you have it right there. Because Adama's body was in, in the ark. Okay? Now why Mama Awa was better, it's kind of weird, but she wasn't in there, but he was. Okay? Now I could be wrong, but something tells me that there's a reason for that. So now, um, I don't think I'm wrong though, because that's what they needed for that, what they were doing. They found her, that's why they said, I know they knew where she was at. So wherever the flood hit, she was protected from it, how they buried her. But it took him in the ark for a reason. Okay, so now, um, why have you, and it said, and it said, now some came like the cloud of great light. These people who come were sent from the knowledge of the great eternal realms and the angels, they would stand before Noka and the realms. And then zombies said to God, why have you strayed from what I told you? You have created another generation so you can scorn my power. And it said, I testify before your might that the generated people did not come from me or my sons. So who are these people? This is going to be the Anunnaki. This is going to be the Neph. This is going to be whatever Cain's realm was. Okay? So they begin to once again manifest. And the, and the people who were brought in their proper land and the holy dwelling were built for them. And they called by the name and lived there 600 years and knowledge of incorruptibility. Malikis of the great light live with them. No foul deed resides in their hearts, but only knowledge of Tatanzambi. Then Noka divides the whole world among his sons. Kama and Yabeta and Semu, he says to them, my son, look here, look, I have divided the earth among you, but serve him in fear and slavery all those of your life. Your children must not go away from the peace of Tatanzambi Almighty. The son of Noka says, You and your Golo will be pleased with my seed. Seal it with the strong hand of fear and command the whole seed that came from me will not turn from Tatanzambi, but they will serve in humility and fear what they know. Now, let's go ahead and think about what's going on today. How do you go astray? Is the two cups. What cup do you drink from? What mirror are you? What side of the mirror are you on? The mirror represents the firmament. 
It also represents where are you spiritually, okay? You cannot even begin to know the truth if you think that you don't ever stop learning the truth. It's a, it's a fallacy that they have given to you. The Father never stops teaching those who actually want to learn. Yesu never stops teaching those who really want to learn. Okay? The knowledge is forever, never ending. So then you cannot sit there and now tell me you have all there is to know in this one book. It's a lie. The concept is in the illusion of the wrong side of the mirror, this is what you're gonna believe. So now in this illusion, you will now perish in this next phase because they have already called it. They're getting ready to make the moves because in their mindset, you are expendable, but we can't let you know that. You are also in the wrong side of the mirror we already know there's going to be a separation, but you don't know who's who. We do. But we tried our best to keep you in Groundhog Day, as I called it, to where the world doesn't know that you're in the wrong cycle. That's what it means when Daniel said, somebody said they will change times and seasons. It means that you're in a whole different world than you're supposed to be. That's why when Zombie and Pungu told us, do not learn you the ways of the heathen. What does that do? When you learn the ways of the heathen, you're on the wrong cycle. You have no business being there. So now that's why you cannot get the people who are continuously drinking from the wrong cup are going to have a hard time discerning the real reality from the one that's fabricated. Because you're not even going to know it's fabricated. So now you're going to think in this world, oh, I need two types of knowledge and being in debt, there's nothing wrong with that. And paying bills and scarcity and all these things that they have taught you is true. War, the way they fight wars and everything, okay, we, this, we fight these wars to defend each other. No. You're fighting wars for domination. Who's, who's going to rule? But they're all under the same umbrella. The deception is there. It's always either you're on the side of Jacob or you're on the side of Esau. But Esau's kingdom is many kingdoms. So it's the octopus with many tentacles. And his, his tentacles are in everything that is not of the most highs. Okay? So in this regard, you will now understand you could not have been in the truth attached to these tentacles. That's really what they're attaching to the back of your head in the matrix. Okay? You cannot actually unplug the matrix if you don't even know who can unplug it. They don't teach you that. Because first of all, you're not in the matrix. Okay? All right, so what I'm going to say in this regard is expect now the next phase is going to be a nightmare for everybody. Huge, big, big, they coded it already. We're ready. The harvest is coming. Tares go first, not wheat, but the wheat will still be protected. Okay. But this is in line where you're going to really see who's who out here because they're going to fake it out too. Oh, yeah, we have our tears. We have our wheat. Jesus Christ. Okay, they're going to fake it out. But what you're going to see at the end of the, at the end of the seven years, okay, you have what they're calling. Uh, let's get to it. I meant to do this. I'm, I hate to be all over the place, but I'm not. So you have their so-called tribulation seven years. Oh, yeah, three and a half years, three and a half years, la, la, la. 
All right. You have all of them interpreting the scriptures according to the way the matrix taught them what to do. And all this. Do not accept the mark of the beast. Okay, well, <laughs> you're going to find out you, you've really been deceived about that whole process. But then there's also those who were given reprieve because the father sent us to the beast and the 12 tribes. So then in this regard, when we go to the whole concept of the plagues of Egypt, you're going to see how they're going to compare it, okay? So you have the blood, the hell fire, the foul thing, you have the frogs, you got the war, the mountain fell, the sea come blood, the gnats, the black horse, the river front, you have the fly, the flyer, the pale horse, men are scorched with great heat with fun, disease, martyrs, the beast kingdom is dark. The boils, the Euphrates River dried up. You don't even know the Euphrates is a Nile. <laughs> even though they're talking, about, they're coding it for the deceiver, for the one that's the fake Euphrates River, which is a river dam. But we ain't going to go there. Locusts, the great earthquake, okay? Darkness, death of the firstborn. Believers spared from Titan Zombie's wrath in the trumpet, okay? Revelation 17. Believers are not the ones who think that the son of Atlantis is their savior. No. So what's going to happen is this here is going to mean to look like this to the people who are deceived. But in reality, this is what's coming for the people who came out of the deception that's been taught to the tares. Okay, so this whole apocalypse that's coming is not for the rapture, no church, because the church went into apostasy and was told to get out of it with Toko and Kimbango and, Kim, and all these others. The form, the force, the form is there was a period to where the Banabe to of Isolele would now be taken away. But here's what happened. Oh, but in 1984, as it was coded in the book, 1984, the shepherds kept us wandering in the wilderness again for 40 years. But they've actually done it more than that. Because if you really go back, there's 120 years in the days of Noka. You multiply 40 times three, there's your 120 years. So you've been in the wilderness three times longer than you should have been. Okay. Because Toko and, the, and Kimbangu, what they came to tell you is, look, put it back. We need to fix it back. Hello, we're, we're taking over. We're taking over. They, they said, no, you're not. They're fighting us. This is the war against the lamb, the true war. To put it back the way that Noka divided it amongst his sons. To put the balance of everything back and also bring back my children. See, all of that they're fighting now against is Isaiah, Isaiah 14. It's also meant to expose the people who are deceived by Revelation 3 and 9. Because this rapture doctrine came from Esau. Not the, not the God of Esau, not the God of Jacob, has nothing to do with this. The people who wrote this stuff, they knew that it was the end of the age of Esau is this part. This is now the end of the age of Esau. Oh, but here's the problem. The Mosai already did it because you happen to be several years off from the original timeline you cannot run the judge the jubilee the tribulation on the gregorian calendar no way okay no way you're deceived the gregorian calendar cannot be the tribulation not possible so in this time as we see what's going on with the diaspora you're going to recognize that 
everyone has been played by people who are being in the deception, who are being paid their 30 pieces of silver. So what you're going to be calling the tribulation is going to actually be in reality the judgment on Egypt. But the way they're going to play it out is whatever they taught you will be your. So then what will happen is when it starts to really go to the next phase, yeah, these people are going to go to their party, but it ain't going to be what they think. And then that city is going to come against our the, the, the Bakongo people. And you're going to see who's who. When they mess, when the Mosai said, okay, we're going to show you who's who out here. No. When I get run with Egypt, we're going home. Okay. And that's what we're preparing to do. But the people who think that they're following that stupid goat god, now we're going to battle. It's all going to play out. Okay? See, they said a third, a third of mankind slain by an army. It ain't going to be no, look here. By, okay, so it said a third of mankind slain by a 200,000, 200 million man army. This is going to happen. But you're going to see something with that. Okay, because it lines up with the fact that many of these people are worshiping Baal anyway. All right, we're gonna stop there because I know it's a lot. I'm gonna sing the I'm gonna sing this song. Um, I'm gonna just sing it. Um, hopefully, if I need the words, I'll play the music, but I'm gonna just sing it for now. Our praises. Zilan Zambiena, Hasiye Miangala, Simbeno Iwazio Kakampa, Monan Zambi Ningete, Monamal Wete, Vanganga, Sidile, no Tango Banana, Tango Yabanana. Sorry. <clears throat> Mambanze mami kama benza menoko, hallelujah. Inanzambi kayenzi lezenako. Geti sadi sanga, bonso tu tambwedi. Mambu mami moku kidika. Ingan kya undinunu, kami ewe tita. Volanzambi kakeni moko. Fueti zo lanzilanye. Una sandi langa. Zilanzambi evo satana. Umbanza mena. Kanko. Hallelujah. Zilanzambi ke. Zilanzenako. Genata di sanga. Once on to Tambwedi, Mambu Mami Moke Dika. Mofu Kundi and Edidata, Wa Hata Wutondele, Monsu Kaningate Tondanga. Mukadi Ngeti Dia, the Tati Udu Tondele, Mumasang Ngeti Tondanga. Mambenza mama kamime, mambanza ko, mimena ko, hallelujah, zilanzambi kayenzi, lanzane ko. Ngeti sadi sanga, wonso utambwedi, mambu mami moke dika. Mbanza mami kamba benza ko, mena, mba, mba, sandi. Mabanza mami kama manza menako, hallelujah, nizanzambi kayenzi, lanzenako. Ngeti sadi sanga, wonso tuambwe awedi, mambu mami make dika. Okay, so, I know I'm probably didn't get all correct, but I do my best. Our praises. So, all I'm going to say at this point, <laughs> we are still building the most size way, the best of our ability. 
We are getting, helping our people continue to break free of Babylon. That's the whole goal of this. Um, yes, everybody's still learning, but we're also at, we're dealing with a lot of stuff that people need to be prepared for. A lot of people are being under the dawn delusion of these false gods. I'm telling you, the way things are going to play out, there's a reason why the Most High is going to start revealing things. Because nobody can stop that zombie from taking his people out. They never did. No one can do that. Okay? At the same time, it's not the people you think, people. I'm telling you, he they will not get all of us. No way. They're only going to get the people who chose to continue to live in the lies. And I've already, we've all, many of us have seen this, that know that they played you. If you don't want to live, believe us now, there's nothing we can do. Because in the next phase that's coming, they've already coded it. It's the harvest that's coming. The, the school year from 2024 to 2025 moving forward, and <laughs> It's going to be a nightmare. I've seen these visions. I know that you can expect that they are ready and they are already going crazy with this whole Olympics thing that they're worship welcoming in their God. They're ready to go to whatever it is that they're ready to go be a part of. Okay, fine. And that's including everyone who doesn't even know you're going that way too. Because the name that you're going to be beheaded for is not what you think, man. I'm telling you, it's not going to be no Jesus Christ that you're being beheaded for. If you think that's who you think it is, then the next phase is really going to catch you off guard. That's why they took out even the apocalypse of um, the epistle. I wanted to say something real quick with the epistle of John. It's like this. Right here. It says it right here. From the start we heard, saw with our eyes, and touched with our hands concerning the wisdom of life. And this life became manifest. We have seen, testified, and proclaimed to you the everlasting that life has been with the Creator. It became manifest to us. We are reporting to you that we have seen and heard that you too may become friends with us. And we are friends with the Creator and His representative. You're not going to be friends with the Creator with any paganism. I'm telling you that right now. If you are mixing the pagan and non-pagan together, you are not a friend of the Most High. And if you're teaching his children to break the law, statutes, and commandments, you're not even close. But see, they're not going to tell you that. You have been, you have made the 12 tribes lawless and led astray. Okay? And even people who say that they're not, watch. You're going to see the difference. The representative Kuswa Kongo, the anointed, you are writing these things that you may become filled with joy. And this is the message we heard. Man, I'm telling you, if you think the representative is the king of Atlantis, we can't help you. <laughs> Go right ahead. And if you think that he didn't have a real representative and you still think the temple is physical, hey, you do, you do your thing. You're going to find out. And this is the message we heard from him and report to you. And zombie is radiant, and with him exists no darkness whatsoever. None. If we say we are friends with him, and yet we walk in darkness, we are being deceitful and now dwelling in the truth. And one of the things that they did to rig that in this day, as you will see in the Matrix, is you're being sacrificed unto idols. Okay? That's, why they, that's what the Moses said. When, it, when I reset this, okay? When I show people the difference between the truth and the lie, okay, there's also going to be a pardon of the bride. We were made to be a harlot. Now he's going to clean us up. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But you can't get cleaned up. If you're constantly dealing with filth, it's hard to do it. you got to always be on top of your game. This is our issue. We're running into it all the time. The sludge is everywhere. They've thrown it in your face. But it's because they cloned Tyrone, but we ain't going to go there. <laughs> it's 
If we claim to be without transgression, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not with us. So the whole concept is you must walk in the light. But if we walk in the light as he himself we like, we share friendship with him. Then essence of yesterday is represented purifies us from our transgressions. The light that you're walking with has to be Kuswa Kongo. Even any embassy who has come understands that if they are really embassy, the representative of the high priest is important. And I'm going to tell you, I've, he, don't think he don't exist, people. I'm telling you, if we claim we have made not made transgressions, we deem him false and his wisdom is not within us. That's why... The Christians are saying, oh, we redeemed. We, our transgressions are paid for. La, la, la. Not if you're with the pagan God that hasn't. Okay? And that's going to be the reality check. All right? So, Zola Quingi, Sambololo, Yavikongo Kutwala, and, you know, just prepare. Prepare for the greatest deception that's ever going to be. Because like I said, you cannot be with a pagan God and say so you walk in the light. If you don't think you're with a pagan God, okay. But the whole concept is you are living in the revenge of those who the Most High destroyed. I told people that. And they knew that the end of the age would be like the days of Noah. And in that time, many of the children of, of the Most High would go astray. But then the devil made it made it look like the Gentiles could be a light unto themselves. No, they cannot. The Gentiles cannot be a light unto themselves. It's impossible. The pagans cannot, and that's where Esau and the false gods are deceiving the world. And now they have you celebrating countries and it's like, oh, America, it's Germany. No, if you are with the Most High, it's his kingdom or nobody else's. You don't call yourself by nothing else. This is the deception. It's his kingdom or it's not your kingdom, his kingdom, one or the other. And his kingdom has a name. You don't know it. We can't help you. We sing it all the time in the Bantu culture, and no one understands you are not free if you're not fully separated from their corporate deception, from their lies. You should not be in any debt. And to have this concept of scarcity was completely fabricated. All the scientists, evolution, it's all going to come together for the fact that everything was about the harvest. So that no, they wanted it to, to where nobody makes it to the day of rest, but make you think you are. They wanted to make it to where you don't know that they're resetting the day. You're in this strong delusion. The Alice in Wonderland concept is don't let anybody escape the rabbit hole. And at the same time, don't even let nobody know they're in it. You know you're in the rabbit hole, you're already a problem for them. You know, now you know how to escape the rabbit hole, that makes it even worse. The matrix is the rabbit hole. America, Russia, everybody of it, about the anybody who's under that cracking and his deception, you're in the rabbit hole. Okay. Now you're going to see when the Most High raises the veil of deception, who you who you with? Who you with? Who you with, man? Who you really with? I told you, Ahia was a Nephilim. Wasn't even the Most High. Allah is the same thing. He was a Nephilim. He was a hybrid. Didn't exist the way you think. And for sure, the Jewish people worship Cain. 
as their God. 100%. And Esau is affiliated with them. And all the other religions are doing the same thing. They worship in these Nephilim and hybrids that died in the flood. So that's why it's already a one world religion and a mammon spirit. And now you will see when King Congo erases their deception from those who are chosen and he manifests the true power of the Most High, of Hanukkah, as he spoke about, it's going to make you look like a jackass. I'm guaranteeing you that. If you don't think you're a jackass, you're going to look like one very soon. If you think that you got it figured out and you go where you're going, you're going to be shocked. This thing is going to be trying to talk, man, I did not, I'm not surprised what happened to Biden. This is just the beginning. Trump, oh, I was going to break down the guy. <laughs> okay, so Vance, I actually know a person with this name. I've actually known a couple people, I think, with that name. It means God is gracious. But what God is gracious is you think is the God of Christianity. No. That's Jupiter. He, Jehovah is in the, no, he's not gracious. Our word for grace was Zola. Grace is a name of, of grace actually comes from a name of a of a of a um uh Greece Grecian god goddess. There we didn't say the word grace. See the English language is giving you they have coded many fallen angels in your face. That's why you can't see. So the religion you think that you're running from Lucifer, you're really not. You're going towards the pig God. But of course they're going to want to tell you that no, because the God of Atlantis needs to swallow up as many of the most high chosen people as he possibly can. We've been fighting this war for forever. I shouldn't say from the beginning. Because they got turned into that with the flood. Mermaids and all these other stuff. When the, when when the uh, the fit the big fish was eating up people in the water, they all got God devoured and became the uh, the other stuff that they got changed into. They all using sorcery, people. Eighty five percent of the earth or more is completely under spells. They're on the wrong side of the mirror, and now. The Most High is going to break that mirror, and you're going to see who's who. All right, Zola Quingi Sambalolo Inewezi Yabli Congo Kutwala Kumbote Dumalang Zola Ingeta.